Area of composite shapes, um, we're on to question B now in example one. And this one's a little different because instead of adding two shapes together, they actually have cut a shape out of another shape. And all that means is instead of plussing together our two areas, we're actually going to subtract them instead at the end. Anyway, let's start by naming our two shapes. We have a parallelogram which we'll call the first shape, or area 1, and then area 2 will be the area of the square. Alright, now we'll start with the parallelogram, A1, which is base times height. The base is 6.5 and the height is 5.5. 6.5 times 5.5, which equals 35.75. meters square. Okay, now we'll find the area of our second shape which is a square. All right, now notice I just use the area of a rectangle because you can. I prefer to just use that formula for rectangles and squares. Now the length and breadth of the square are both 1.2, they're both the same. So we just go 1.2 times 1.2 and that comes out to 1.44. Right. Now we're going to find the total area of our composite shape by taking the area of the parallelogram and cutting out or subtracting the area of the square. And for this we get um, 34.31 meters squared. 